Are you tired all the time? Do you get headaches often? How's your tummy? These symptoms could be due to a lack of certain nutrients. So holistic pharmacist Sherry Torcos is here now with how to figure out if nutrient deficiencies could be behind those debilitating symptoms. Because they can be really hard for people and really affect quality of life, can't That's they? That's right. And I think sometimes when people have a certain symptom, whether it's the headache or the fatigue or constipation, you might go to the pharmacy and just grab something to treat the symptom. Right. But it's important to look at that underlying cause because if it's a simple nutrient deficiency, correct that and get yourself feeling a whole lot better. A whole lot better quickly. Yes. This is wonderful. Okay, so Sherry, why don't we start with the one thing. Now, we're all tired here, but that's because we get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that's right. That's but a tough one. It is. That's a tough one to deal with. Yeah. But a lot of people experience fatigue just across the board. That's right. So if it's not due to lack of sleep and right. if it's not due to stress or other things, some uh, possible causes of fatigue that could be related to nutrient deficiencies are iron deficiency or vitamin B12 deficiency. Right. So iron deficiency can be quite common, especially in women ages 30 to 50, in the, in the years where the menstrual cycles tend to be a little bit heavier. If you're losing a lot of blood every month, you could be low in iron. Have your, your uh, ferritin levels checked by right. the doctor because then if it is low, you can take an iron supplement or you can supplement your diet with iron-fortified foods. I have some figs and some dates there. Also, red beans are a good source of dietary oh, okay. iron as well. Dark leafy greens will oh, give yes. you some iron and, of course, meat. Uh, so that is an important one to look at. You don't want to take iron unless you're actually deficient because that's one of those nutrients that too much can be problematic. Can be problematic. So the other possible nutrient that could be deficient uh, that, and cause fatigue is B12. Right. So vitamin B12 deficiency, we know B12 is essential for so many body processes, right. energy production in the body, yeah. neurotransmitter levels. Um, a lot of cellular functions, if you're deficient, you can have that checked again by your doctor. If you're deficient, you can supplement right. or get it through diet. Dark leafy greens, whole grains, things like that. Mm -hmm. Also, vitamin B12 in supplement form. Is that this a is spray? a B12 spray, yes. Wow. Yeah, I love this because you just spray it under your tongue and it's the methylcobalamin form of vitamin B12 and it's a raspberry, so it tastes good. Gives you that quick shot. So that's a great way to get your vitamin B12. Incredible. You hear about B12 shots too. People yes. get those sometimes. Yeah, they can be especially helpful for people that have difficulty absorbing vitamin B12 through their gastrointestinal system. So oh, if you okay. have celiac disease, Crohn's disease, colitis, inflammatory bowel disease, you may right. not be able to absorb it through your gut, in which case injections can be helpful. A nice option. And also for seniors, people over age 60 that maybe don't have enough intrinsic factor, which right. is required to, to absorb, absorb that. that. Yes. Fascinating. Yeah. Okay, so we've addressed fatigue. Now, what about headache? Very common in Calgary, often due to Chinooks, but it can be due to other things yeah, as well. Yeah, dehydration. Yes. It's a common yep. and often missed That's the cause. only time I get a headache. Yeah, you know what? I do too if I'm out exercising a lot, hiking, yeah. and I just don't think enough to drink enough water. Right. So think about replenishing your water first. But here's another surprising cause of headaches, vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D? Vitamin D. Oh. And, you know, we hear about vitamin D for sure. immune health, for bone health, cancer prevention, all of these things. Well, there's recent research that has found that 42% of chronic migraine sufferers actually had vitamin D deficiency. Incredible. So think about getting that checked by your doctor. And, again, if you're deficient, very difficult to get it through diet, but you can supplement. Okay. Now, because we're running out of time, let's switch, let's switch over to belly aches just so yes. we can get that in there. Because that affects so many people. It does. Chronic constipation, digestion digestive problems, often tied to lack of dietary fiber. Right. We hear this all the time. Yes. It's difficult to get enough through diet alone. So what I would suggest looking at is ways to boost your fiber in your diet. Chia seed, oats are great. But this here, this is called regular girl. And this is a prebiotic fiber. And I put some in water just to show you. It is actually an invisible fiber. Yeah, it's nice and clear. So it's clear, clear mixing. It's gluten-free, non-GMO. This is actually safe for children and adults. I'm going to let you taste oh, that. Oh, okay. Wonderful. It's tasteless, odorless, again, gluten-free free. So it's a prebiotic. So prebiotics, they feed the nothing. probiotics. I know, isn't that amazing? It's incredible. You can sneak it into your child's water, wow. juice in the morning. So the prebiotic fiber feeds the beneficial bacteria, the probiotics. So it helps with aiding digestion. Sure. It's good for um, regulating blood sugar levels, may help with cholesterol as well. Yeah. Um, there's actually Health Canada approved claims for irritable Irritable bowel, bowel syndrome. syndrome, exactly. Yeah, Incredible. so uh, that's by Lorna Vanderhaag, and so you can find that in health food stores. But the regular girl keeps you regular. Wonderful. Not just for girls, guys can do it as well. <laughs> and there's okay. a couple of quick options there yes. that we have to go through. So, magnesium quickly. and chromium deficiency. Magnesium deficiency, if you have muscle cramps, you go to bed at night, yeah. your muscles are tight, you get Charlie horses. Think about magnesium. If you're deficient, you can okay. take it in supplement form. A little dark chocolate has some magnesium as oh, well. Never I hurt do anybody. That. So, think about that. 
Also, chromium deficiency. If you're deficient in chromium, that can cause cravings for sweets and sugar. You can get chromium through pumpkin seeds, nuts, beans as well. And last but not least, if you have skin issues, dry, itchy, flaky skin, yep. think about adding healthy fats to your diet. Borage oil, also um, fatty acids found in fish, avocado, and Wonderful. olive oil. Lots of great ideas here. And who knew they were just these simple things you can add to your diet. Sherry, thank That's you great. so thank much. Thank you. Thanks Always for having me. Always great to have you here. Let's head back to Winsport now where the guys are for the BT Hockey Classic.